Hey everyone, Daniel here, and today we're going to be showing you how to make a vertical windmill DIY. We are using a CNC machine to cut out our part but you can use a standard jigsaw. We downloaded our file onto the CNC machine and we'll be using it to cut out our part for the windmill. We are using a heavy duty sheet of plastic that is half an inch thick. Our part is finished and we will need to cut another one just like it. Also, we will need to cut out our tabs to free our part. The finished part looks like this. We have the top and bottom pieces cut out for our rotor. We are using a threaded rod as our shaft. Also, we are using a PVC tubing to reinforce our structure. After the rotor is assembled, you should have something looking like this. We will be using a thin, flexible sheet of plastic to cover the exterior of our rotor. This is what the rotor should look like when finished. We use some screws to secure the plastic. The windmill is complete and it performs very well. We built a box to contain our mechanism. We installed a DC motor that can also be used as a generator. Also, we have two pulleys. The ratio is 4 to 1. We also installed two bearings, one at the top and one at the bottom. Here, we have an array of 20 LEDs. They require 6 volts DC to operate. Our windmill can power them at one rotation per second. have a set of 20 LEDs each. They are connected in a series. They require 12 volts DC to operate. We will need to run this windmill at a higher RPM. We wanted to test our windmill outdoors, but there is no wind today, so we will be using a leaf blower. use an inverter to charge the battery and use the extra energy later. If you don't have a CNC machine to cut out your parts like we did, you can use a regular jigsaw like this one or this one. Thanks for watching everyone and make sure to subscribe because we have some really cool videos coming your way. And make sure to check out our online store at www.mindoftesla.com or the link in the description. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to hit that like button, and we'll see you next time.